I guess so. I just want to hear Nick say, I want you to, so you're saying like, yes, destiny. Um, I went to the Capitol and I just wanted to protest with my friends. We knew that we weren't going to change the outcome. There was no pressure on the lawmakers. We knew that wasn't a realistic thing. We were just kind of going there to show how angry we were. That's, that's what you were yeah, doing. Yeah, literally, literally, okay. literally right. that's exactly, because here's the thing. That's all I wanted to hear. There no, were that's several days. That's, I just want to hear that. Said, I say that we should not leave this Capitol until Donald Trump is inaugurated president. What did he mean by this? You meant in 2020. When I say we're not leaving it till Trump is inaugurated <laughs> president, we're. Hi, I'm Destiny. I do far left, center left, far right, fashy, commie content. I don't know what the f you people say I do, but yeah, what's up? Alrighty. Hey. So it looks like I'm on my own tonight, so that'll be fun. Um, all right, so here is what we're going to do. I know that Rose and uh, Destiny, or it's going to be mostly Rose, but each person would have about five well, minutes. It's going to be mostly me. Well, isn't that what you guys said? I think it was pretty evening between us, right, Destiny? Isn't that how it was? Um, okay. yeah. All right, there we go. We're good. Yeah. Okay. All right, fine. Well, anyways, we're going to do two topics. The first topic will be about January 6th, basically, if you think it was an insurrection, if you think that people have been treated fairly. Um, obviously, we'll want to hear what's been going on with Baked, even though he kind of told a little bit last night, but I think you can go into more details if he wants. Um, nothing that'll get you into any kind of trouble, though, obviously. Um, but um, yeah, I know Rose is going to go first for openings. We have about like five minutes each or 10 minutes per team. Um, so you can. Rose might go a little over and then Destiny will get the gist of it. So it'll be all Rose, then Baked, then Destiny, then Nick. So um, yeah, Rose, why don't you get started with openings then? All right, yeah. excellent. So at 2.13 p.m. on January 6th, 2021, the first of the Trump supporting rioters entered the Capitol building. They had been brought there by belief in a conspiracy that the election was being stolen and that they could prevent this from happening by storming the Capitol. This conspiracy was propagated by Trump, Republican lawmakers, and the conservative media, including both members of our opposition for today's debates. This conspiracy is patently false. Trying to save your democracy is a noble ambition. However, the biggest threat to democracy on that day were not the lawmakers conducting the legitimate, peaceful transfer of power, but the rioters who attempted to interfere with that process. Claims that the election are stolen are completely and utterly unfounded, with no legitimate evidence to match the claims made. Lawsuit after lawsuit, case after case fell in courts. In courts, by the way, with judges that were largely appointed by Trump himself. The conservative Supreme Court declined to hear their cases since they had no legitimate legal standing. With both control of the executive and the judicial branch, no attempts to overturn the 2020 election could hold its ground. Trump's own attorney general, William Barr, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the Department of Justice, and the Department of Homeland Security all affirmed the legitimacy and security of the 2020 election. In fact, they even go as far as to call this election the most secure in American history. Furthermore, we also have evidence pointing to dishonest motivation for these Republican investigations, such as Trump's Find Me 11,780 Votes incident. In response to this truth, we may see a wide range of flimsy counterarguments presented by the opposition, such as, well, what about mail-in ballots? Just as with the overall election, there is no credible evidence that mail-in ballots are unreliable, and they may have been a secure, they have been a secure staple of US elections for decades. While it is true that mail ballots are marginally more likely to be fraudulent than in-person ballots, it is still more likely for an American to be struck by lightning than to commit mail voting fraud. As such, if Republicans are so concerned with the impact of their voting share caused by the use of mail-in ballots, they could just urge their constituents to remain indoors during thunderstorms for a similar effect. Despite this, the opposition may still want to squabble about a tiny amount of fraudulent votes, in which case they have to grapple with the fact that, once again, out of the very limited instances of voter fraud, most of them are due to mistakes and clerical errors, not organized efforts, as well as the fact that not all fraudulent ballots are cast for Democrats. We may also see the conspiratorial film 2000 Mules be referenced during this debate. This film has been extensively debunked, and at the end of the day, there's a reason why it's a film and not a court case. Ultimately, there are no sound arguments for the election fraud conspiracy, and at this point, maybe your opposition's only option are absurd non-falsifiable claims such as, well, maybe the Republicans just weren't trying hard enough. We may also see a range of false equivalencies between what happened on January 6th and election conspiracies with democratic instances of demonstration and investigation. What about the BLM riots? First of all, neither I, as you all know probably, nor Destiny support the BLM riots. Secondly- Bro, StreamYard like takes like fucking 30% of my CPU. Holy shit, it is frying my chip. After riot, which was 100% a riot. Thirdly, just because riots occurred at some BLM demonstrations, that does not excuse the riot at the Capitol. And finally, the fundamental grievances of BLM, those being police brutality and systemic racism, are real, 
widespread election fraud is not. Well, what about the Kavanaugh protest? During the Kavanaugh protest, the Capitol was open to the public, unlike on January 6th. In fact, people who demonstrated inside the building stood in line for tickets in order to be allowed to enter. They're also not comparable in terms of violence, as the Kavanaugh protests were peaceful, whereas the Capitol riot was not. Well, what about Russian interference? Isn't that like the election fraud conspiracy? No, it's not. Firstly, Hillary conceded immediately following the election. Trump did not. Trump is still pushing the narrative that he was cheated. Secondly, the Russian investigators did actually lead to several indictments and prove the existence of Russian interference in the presidential election, specifically on social media. The election conspiracy has no such findings. We may also get conspiracies about how the police let them into the Capitol, and such claims betray either a fundamental misunderstanding of riot management Check your temps. or proof that I already you did. My temps are fine. It's like 87, I think, right now. Proof. As such, it is I don't think this chip throttles until like 95 mistakes. or 100. Finally, we may get equally unfounded accusations that Antifa or the FBI were present at the Capitol riots. And you know what? I can't really blame you because if I was a conservative, I think that Baked Alaska was a psyop too. This brings us to Nick Fuentes and Baked Alaska. I have sympathy for those duped into the election conspiracy by demagogues, but very little for the demagogues themselves. The election fraud conspiracies they pushed contributed to the stochastic force that compelled so many Trump supporters to show up at the Capitol. Nick Fuentes and Baked Alaska either knowingly pushed a false conspiracy, or they too were duped into believing it. Hmm. As such, they're either deliberate liars or so heavily infected with conservative brain rot that you can safely disregard anything they say. Baked Alaska entered and paraded inside the Capitol building and streamed all the way through Despite all the talks about conservative prosecution and hyper-politicization of the January 6th charges, he was given a plea deal that merely required him to plead guilty to misdemeanors. A plea deal which, may I add, he almost fumbled because he couldn't hold his tongue in court. Perhaps the prosecution was so lenient with him because of how very helpful his livestream was in identifying other rioters. Fuentes, on the other hand, was smart enough not to enter the Capitol building, although he had no issues inciting his fans to do so. In conclusion, January 6th riot was a violent event that resulted in millions of dollars of damages, hundreds of injuries, a half dozen deaths, and a unique assault on the peaceful democratic transition of power, all driven by a bogus theory pushed by Trump, Republican lawmakers, the conservative media, and the two members of our opposition in today's debate. Thank you. Okay, um, Bates, if you want to... Bro, my shit is okay, fucked, guys. Uh, yeah, well, my first shit of is all, fucked, there's guys. a lot of oh my personal God. stuff in there. Uh, for an opening statement, I thought we were focused on January 6th, Buffalo shooting. Okay, interesting. And we'll open the floor after everybody gives their openings. And um... <laughs> Yeah, very, very, very interesting there. Thank you for that, Rose. I wonder if my shit is under. All right, itself. well. Um, Maybe it doesn't. <clears throat> Maybe it scales. Yeah, I mean. Close the game. The game is open see. on another Where monitor. Did, I, I, I don't. I don't know where to start with oh, this. Oh, he didn't but, open it. Um, he didn't prepare a statement. I haven't statement. seen 2,000 fucked. mules. Obviously, there was fraud. There was major fraud in the 2020 election. Uh, there's so much evidence of it. You know, Trump got more votes than Obama. Yet, you want us to believe that Joe Biden, the lowest approval rated president of all time, I believe. Oh, shit. Got more votes than Trump with zero energy. No one's showing up at his rallies. You know, it, it really does not add up there. So, Nick Fuentes you know, we'll get trouble. more into that. But obviously, oh, no. there's so much proof about the fraud. There's so much proof about the fraud, about Trump absolutely dominating in 2020, just like he did in 26 or 16. Sorry. And, you know, we're going to we're going to prove that today um, as far as like all the uh, personal shots or whatever. I mean, you're not even a fucking American. I don't know where you come from, uh, but I actually was at January 6th. I was arrested by the feds. Um, you can keep simping for, you know, global corporate entities all you want. You know, it, it's I find it so interesting too. the left loves corporations now. Isn't that funny? You know, they started this whole Occupy Wall Street thing. Oh, wow. Now they're simping for the corporations. Okay, but you know what I say? I say fuck the feds, fuck the corporations. Yes, I am fighting this legal battle in court. And you say, oh, you know, 100% of it was a riot. That's not true. People have already been fucking acquitted, you idiot. Look at the court logs, dude. Like, you're so lost. I mean, you're not even American. You're so out of touch with this shit. It's not even funny. That was embarrassing. I mean, you're reading off like a fucking mainstream media cheat sheet there. You know, good job. Woo! Great job with your is stats. Is okay there. or is it still fucked? <laughs> you know, that, that was boring as shit. But listen, I'm a real <laughs> human being. 
So is Nick. We're real American patriots. We didn't believe in a lie or conspiracy theory like your globalist overlords want to tell you. But uh, Trump won the election in 2020. <laughs> there was a largely peaceful protest. BLM sucks. They are not peaceful. And, uh, you know, we're just going to prove that here today. So That's good fun. to be here, guys. Thank you. All right, Destiny. Uh, Get in there. Uh, I mean, obviously, I agree with everything that Rose Chris said. Um, it's hard to say that it's not going to be personal when you are both kind of like personally involved in this. Um, I mean, there's going to be some level of, of personal investment. There's going to be some level of like personal indictment um, throughout the course of this conversation, I imagine. Um, I am excited to talk about the evidence, I guess, for fake ballots or for a rigged election or for there to be so much fraud that it would have changed the outcome of any of the states that were important in actually determining the outcome of the election. Um, I do agree with what Baked Alaska said. Um, Donald Trump did indeed get more votes than Obama, but unfortunately, there was one other guy that got more votes than Obama too, and he got even more votes than Donald Trump, and that was Joe Biden. And at the end of the day, well, really, that's not even all that counts. What counts is the Electoral College, which Trump also tried to stop, by the way, um, and he was unable to do so successfully. But um, yeah, there, uh, the the January 6th riots themselves wouldn't necessarily be a problem. Fighting for your democracy is a noble cause. It's just a little bit sad when there are players, both politically, lawmakers, or the president, and players in terms of activism or YouTube, like Baked Alaska or Nick Fuentes that are kind of misleading people into believing that the election was stolen, which is causing them to take these violent actions, which is what we'll probably be talking about today. Yeah. All right, Nick. Okay, muted. Is it still lagging? It's okay. Fucked. My shit is fucked. <clears throat> um, it is actually fucked. So I guess the first I'm gonna start closing programs. about My shit January is... 6th and that people went there to try to stop the actual counting of the electoral votes, and I would dispute that characterization because it's way better now. Um, is it? there were approximately 500,000 people in DC that day and if you recall Donald Trump himself held a rally on the ellipse outside the White House that morning um, I actually have learned since some of these indictments came out for example against Stuart Rhodes and against Enrique Tarrio that the militias may have planned to disrupt the Electoral College meaning there was a premeditated plan uh, to breach the Capitol and then occupy the Capitol for the purpose of obstructing the act of Congress. I didn't know that at the time. I think most people didn't know that at the time. That was strictly two groups. I think the number of people that have been charged with conspiracy is between 50 and 100. So you have 500,000 people there, and the people actually charged with conspiracy. In, in other words, that there was a premeditated effort to go in there and prevent the count that was a very, very small percentage of the actual people there. I think most people there, most people that were present at the Capitol on 1-6 didn't breach. And most people that breached, I think, did that in a way that was not premeditated. I think that, you know, if you look at a guy like Baked Alaska as an example, I don't think, and I know him, that he planned on storming the Capitol to stop the count. I think they went to the Capitol. They were met with police barricades. The barricades were pushed back. The cops were pushed back. And I think some people pushed inside the Capitol, and then they were cleared out. And this is evidenced okay. by the fact that a lot of them didn't really even Hopefully have a this plan. Is okay, it's not I like guess. these people went in there and said, okay, here's our map. Here, we're going here. You know, people are taking pictures. People are walking within the velvet robes. People are acting like tourists. They're not carrying firearms. They're not carrying weapons. They're not wearing armor. Um, so when you look at who, if anybody, had a plan to stop the count, uh, it's a fraction of the people, it's a small fraction of the people that breached, and the people that breached are a small fraction of the people that were there. The vast majority of people that were there on 1-6, including myself and Baked Alaska, were there to peacefully protest the last sort of major constitutional date before a new president was inaugurated. I can tell you I had no intentions my idea of January 6th was I was going there and it was like the last, you know, the last get together before the Biden administration. I had no hope that Mike Pence was going to do the things that Republicans wanted him to do. Uh, my plan was to attend the Trump rally. And then I had made dinner plans at like five o'clock that evening to, to go meet with friends. And I was going to go shoot an interview with Alex Jones and do something for my documentary. Um, so, so I dispute the characterization that, that like a lot or even most, or vice versa, most or even a lot of the people that were there had some kind of plan to obstruct 
the counting of the vote and disrupting the process. I don't think that's borne out by the facts. And we could see the facts in the indictments. Those are all public. All the, yeah, all the complaints fucked. filed by the DOJ time. in connection with the six are publicly searchable in a database. And the last time I checked, which was recently, the number of conspiracy charges is like, 50 to 100 out of 500,000. And even if you're being conservative about the numbers, maybe it's a quarter of a million. At the most, it's a half million people. Either way, 100 out of a quarter million or a half million isn't a lot. Um, then you get to the issue of election fraud. And I'll say this, you know, for us to be successful in this debate, we don't need to prove necessarily that there was fraud that pushed the election in favor of Biden all we have to do is prove that there is a reasonable doubt about the validity of the election, which I think is a far simpler task. And what I mean by this is when you look at Arizona, Arizona is the only state that has conducted an independent ballot audit to date. And what they found is over 100,000 discrepancies in the vote. Now, Donald Trump only lost Arizona by a margin of 10,000 votes. The independent ballot audit has delivered over 100,000 discrepancies. Now, we don't need to necessarily know exactly what those are or what the outcome would be if those weren't there. It's sufficient to say that, you know, if the discrepancies are 10 times greater than the than the margin, than the margin of difference between the two candidates, that the whole contest has to be tossed out. The whole contest, you can't, like, go through 100,000 ballots and say, hmm, I think this one's good and this one's bad. You just have to throw the election out and say it's not legit, which is what people were saying during the steal. And those were and that's the only state that's conducted. There were states that conducted recounts and there were states that conducted other things. But the only states that conducted a proper audit, the only state is Arizona in 2021. And they delivered a large enough number of discrepancies that you could reasonably say this election may not have been fair. The other thing is this. You know, I think that the election fraud narrative would make a lot less sense any other year, except that this 2020 election had more non-traditional votes than any other election in history by far. You had more than 40 percent of the ballots cast by mail. In 2016, it was only 20 percent cast by mail. So you had double the amount of mail-in ballots. And mail-in ballots are obviously susceptible to fraud. You know, Rose, you said, oh, you have a greater chance of being struck by lightning than having a, a fake ballot or something. When you have millions of ballots being solicited, meaning sent to people's homes, and then the ballots show up at drop boxes, and that accounts for 40%, 69% of the ballots are uh, early voting or mail-in ballots. This is a completely non-traditional election. And I think it's fair to say you know, even if you disagree with our conclusions, I think it's fair to say that a, an election which has more non-traditional voting than ever before deserves more scrutiny than ever before. If this is the first election where you've got nearly half of the ballots are cast by mail and that's never happened before, you could say this is unique, this is extraordinary, this is exceptional, and therefore it warrants careful scrutiny. Instead, what people are saying is the reverse. They're saying, no, 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 it's the safest election ever. Really? Because we just went through four years of special counsel and impeachment because uh, some Russian agent paid for Facebook ads in the state of Michigan in 2016. But 40 percent mail in ballots, you know, we're just going to look at that and say, well, you know, the government said it's OK, so it's OK. Um, you know, in Europe, in France, they outlawed mail in ballots in the 1970s because of the potential for fraud. And across Europe, many countries have banned mail in ballots for the same reason. And the reason why is because there's no chain of custody. A mail-in ballot is sent out by the state to the voter's residence. And then the next time the state sees the ballot is in a drop box. There's no chain of custody. They don't see an ID. They don't see that the person that that vote was intended for is signing it and voting for it in person, presenting identification. They ship it out. They get it back. No chain of custody. And when that accounts for 40 percent of the ballots, that poses a big problem about the credibility of the election. So I think it's actually extremely fair that during that period from November 3rd until January 6th, people like myself in Baked Alaska were out there protesting and demanding special sessions of the state legislatures to appoint a uh, an independent ballot audit to look at the ballots and verify if the election was legitimate or not. And then if the contest is thrown out, then the state legislatures regain their power to appoint the electors and then they appoint them in the direction that the state legislature voted. That's that's originally how the Electoral College worked. So, um, 
you know, so again, if, if we're going to define our terms here, the important thing to keep in mind about the fraud is all we have to prove is that there's a reasonable doubt when you look at these major discrepancies or a possibility for major discrepancies. And, and that's obviously there. And I think the only people that reject that are people that are invested so heavily in a Biden victory. You know, I'm willing to say, oh, maybe Trump is a sore loser or whatever. And I think that would have made a lot more sense in 2016. I think that would have made more sense for Republicans in 12 or 2008. But in 2020, 43 percent mail in ballots. This warrants extra careful scrutiny. And it didn't get that. So that's my take. All right. We can open up the floor now. And um, we're going to do questions after each topic. So if you guys have questions, you can send them in. We'll try to get to as many as we can. But it's um, through the powerchat.live slash politically provoked. All right. Okay, I'm actually. Before we get into the like uh, all the voting mail-in stuff, I just have to one question for Nick Fuentes. So, if you say that oh, you were there just to peacefully fuck. protest with Bake Alaska, then why were you outside the Capitol building with a megaphone saying things like "Keep moving towards the Capitol. It appears we are taking the Capitol. Keep marching and don't relent. Never relent. Break down the barriers and disregard the police. The Capitol belongs to us now. Let those politicians know." That's exactly how it should be. These politicians do not represent us. They betray us. And now we're forcibly evicting them from the people's house. They should live in fear of the American people. How does that okay, square with your, were good quotes. your peaceful protest statement? Because we're referring to the Capitol lawn. You know, if you weren't there on that day, maybe you don't know. But the police You're evicting them not... from the people's house. That's not the lawn. That's the house. The people's house is the Capitol complex. Uh, does that include the, the lawn? Referred to the building. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the, the entire no, property. What, really? <laughs> We're, I mean, you can laugh and you can quibble about the details, but you weren't there on that day. You don't even know what you're talking about. Te I mean, the technically, some, somebody complex, that wasn't there could... Okay, are you going to let me respond? You asked a question. You read out the whole quote. Sure. Let well, like saying like, we're not there the, isn't a response. You, you guys all have video, it's right? Apple grounds, like legally. Yeah, I know. I, I have it. Wait, let's I, finish the the video is out there. It's on my phone. Yeah. So the entire Capitol complex was barricaded with metal barriers and so you had people and, and if you look on the capitol complex where i was i wasn't even close to the building i wasn't even close i could provide a map of the capitol i could show you exactly where i was i was outside the lawn how do and you so evict where I was standing, people, people from the lawn i'm towards, really curious about how that works and, and we were you know you're gonna keep interrupting day, me because way. i'm providing the context see the problem with the i think how the debate's going to work is it's not happening in good faith you know, when you're going to stand there and say, oh, but, 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 you know, you, it was a, it was a chaotic day. I mean, we're out there in like the middle of a world historical moment. And I'll admit for legal reasons, I probably should have chose my words more carefully. But if you look at the geography of where I was standing, the context provides perfect sense or makes perfect sense. I was standing out there. People are marching towards peacefully to protest on the lawn. I said, we're taking the Capitol back, meaning we're, we're occupying the Capitol surrounding it. People were surrounding the Capitol from the Washington Monument all the way across the Reflection Pond, or whatever that is between the Monument and the Capitol, and surrounding the Capitol on all sides. I was not referring to the building, I'm referring to the complex saying, we're taking the city back, we're taking the people's house back, uh, you know, and, and if I were saying it in any other way, why wouldn't I have breached? If I was saying, you know, we're going in there, whatever, you know, I was wearing a suit, I was wearing dress shoes, the idea that you're that, smart you know, enough to know you'll get in trouble for that constitutes some premeditated plan. It, it's just not borne out by any of the rest of it. OK, so, so one simple follow up question, then how do you forcibly evict politicians from the lawn? How does that work? Well, we're forcibly. Well, what they said at the time was that the politicians were running away inside the Capitol because the Capitol was surrounded by 500,000 people. If it's surrounded, then how are they getting, like, are they going to, wouldn't that just make them want to stay in there even more? Wouldn't eviction Listen, require kind of pushing I didn't say that in a courtroom. I said that at a rally, you know. Yeah, so that's that's regardless of where you said it, right? That's relevant. If you're saying you just came there with peaceful intentions and then you're saying stuff. I like did. This, it well, let, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. If I came in there with anything other than peaceful intentions, why would I come in dress shoes and no weapons and no well, tactical gear. The rest to stop the steal, I wore a bulletproof vest and a bomber jacket. If I was mm -hmm. trying to breach the Capitol or forcibly evict anybody, note that I have not a single time said there? that you why were trying to get into the Capitol. Tie and dress shoes and no armor and no weapons. It just doesn't make any sense. Why? Wait, would that's I like leave saying this is like saying if a general. This is like saying if a general wants to win a war, why isn't he on the front lines fighting with his troops? Like, True. I mean, no, obviously, like it, well, hold on, it's it, not absolutely, like it absolutely is, right? Like, 
a anybody that's Not listening that can I finish my sentence, please? Uh, that's what's gonna happen this oh, way. People are arguing in bad faith. Oh. I let you finish. For, I let you talk for so long. Okay? <laughs> All right. So the, the <laughs> idea, the, the idea, guy. obviously, that you're gonna show up with a megaphone to tell people to evict who from the the lawn? Do they have mole rats? Do they have like what's going on out there that we're, we're evicting people from the lawn? Like it's pretty obvious, like what the implication is, um, especially if you're gonna use words around the election, like well, what's like a reasonable doubt, right? The idea that you showed up and you weren't ready yourself to run in because you've got a thousand people in front of you that you know that you can scream at or go on to run in, you know, it doesn't exonerate your actions anymore. And it doesn't point to you being there as a, as a peaceful demonstrator. It's pretty clear that your words, even if you yourself are saying that, well, I didn't have the intention of doing that, you know what the perception of those words are going to be, right? If I were to give a, a megaphone to a black person, put them downtown Seattle and have them screaming, we're going to evict the capital owners from their businesses. I don't think you would be on the America First program saying, you know, I think that uh, I think that Jamal, what he was saying was he just wanted to clean the sidewalks up, right? You'd be saying he's sending people into those businesses to tear them down, to take the people onto the street, to beat the shit out of them. That's exactly what you would be saying. And I think it's pretty fair to say that it's probably the same thing that was going on in January 6th. You're goading the audience on, you're goading the crowd on, you can tell the people are trying to break in or are breaking into the Capitol building, and you're telling people to get in there and evict the legislatures from the, from the lawmaker's house. Like, it's pretty obvious what's going on there. It's the opposite. It's the opposite. And, and the thing is, both of you um, weren't there. You know, me and Baked Alaska are primary Hold on, I, okay, I will interrupt you when you say this. You can't say we weren't there. We have video. You weren't there. But it you doesn't that's not, an, that's not an argument. Not we, we have, not we have video. We can I, watch. Wait, 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 wait. We have all wait, the video. Hang on, hang on. Of course it's an argument. It's an argument because you're, you're taking a 20-minute video, 25-minute video from the day of. We were there on the ground. We were there... We okay, do we want to do Brittany? Do we want to do third. like the um? Do we want to do the Buffalo argument? We we uh, we me and Rose automatically lose if that if it's if their what? whole argument is just we weren't there. I mean, no one can counter oh, that. Then they no, have they ultimately, way, they ultimately they no, ultimately no, they, no, you no, have no, it. That's like the, the key argument. Like wait, no, wait, no, if, I, if I, you're I, saying I, that we weren't there, like I mean, you would. Damn, like I didn't even I didn't even consider that that could be the argument. We weren't there. Oh my goodness, like Brittany, you got you got to introduce a little control here. Are we allowed to respond or what? So okay, so I think Bake was trying to say something, right? Well, hey, no, I got to respond no. to the oh, first part. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. No, the, I don't know. So the argument, the argument about uh, January 6th is that if you look at the indictments, you know, the federal government is going after ev everybody that they can. You know, that's what they said at the beginning. They said, we're going after the East celebs first. And now they're cracking down on the militias. The indictments for conspiracy for militia groups is between 50 and 100. In other words, the people that conspiracy meaning that they plotted to breach this is a fraction that's the argument me and rose aren't talking about that wait, hold on me and Ro to be clear he's about to he's about to waste two minutes around an argument that no one is making yeah go for it no one no one is about to make the argument that he's addressing i mean if you just talk over us then yeah you know you're right who do you think is talking most so far nick everybody here all right all right let nick finish then destiny and then whatever <laughs> so so the that was the argument I made in my opening statement. Now, this uh, this other guy, this uh, guy with the glasses comes on and says, oh, but what about the speech that you gave? Doesn't that isn't that evidence? Isn't well, clearly not, because the DOJ doesn't think it's sufficient evidence and the FBI doesn't think it's sufficient evidence, because if they did, they would have charged me. But a 25 minute speech on the Capitol. And, and the reason I say you weren't there is you don't understand Brittany, can you do the one context minute time of what was happening. This, so we you don't, don't know where. Okay. You don't know where the speech was happening. You don't know the context of when and the rest of the turn of events. You know uh, about generals and storming the Capitol. We were there for probably like sixty minutes, and and we were so far from the Capitol steps. The idea that Brittany, we were seriously, can you put a timer for move the on the Capitol? Doesn't, doesn't again. It doesn't make sense minute. because. Just, you just are do there. Like, just do like one minute that part of it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Fine. Okay. So, I mean, are we going to have a debate? If you're just going to talk over my whole answer, I mean, what what are we even doing here, right? I mean, if you're not so the thing is your answer is in the debate. Well, yeah. Here. Okay. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Destiny was next. We'll do one minute um interval so that people are not interrupting. Sure. Um, I, I have. I, it'll take me ten seconds, and then Rose will be once. But like, like. Just to be very clear, neither me nor Rose are making the argument that you had a pre-planned conspiracy to do anything. N none of us have made that argument. You had That's it in your opening. That's literally what you Rose said. Wait, no. hold, on, hold on. It's a. No, uh, I don't let's, believe. Let's... I don't believe Rose said that. None of yes. neither of us. Now Nick said it in his opening argument, and now he's arguing against the straw man that he presented his opening argument. What me and Rose have said was that your presence at that area was to goad people on. That doesn't require a conspiracy. That doesn't require pre-planning. Like you can do that in the heat of the moment, right? Like that's 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 the argument we're making. So if you want to respond to that, you can. If you want to ramble again. 
again about indictments and lack of conspiracy stuff. You can do that again for a minute, but like neither of us are making that argument, so we don't know. Who you're well, the initial from. the initial argument that he made in his opening statement was that Trump supporters plan to stop the vote in Congress. That was, if I'm not mistaken, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but in the opening statement, which he read out, so he's got the text of it, he said that the Trump supporters, their their plan, their mission was to stop the vote from happening. Once they were there. Once they were there, but there's, there, oh, how many? Once, once we were there. So, the, so oh, we're planning okay. on the fly. Yeah, wow, that's it's called a riot. That's what a riot is. It's planning oh on the fly. Like, for instance, having a guy with Wait, a megaphone I, I, screaming I, I, things into a crowd I, I, that didn't pre-plan it. That's exactly what it is. Yes, big. You got there. Congratulations. So it, it, it's very simple, right? Yeah. So you don't need any organization from this. But if you're making an idea that this is this is happening, there is an election. Well, read your opening statement. On. What was the and this read, is read back your opening statement? Are you gonna interrupt well, me? Sorry, right are we now, Nick, one minute in a post I never even got a talk. I never even got a talk. Right, right, right. Let me talk. They let me speak once and I had that quote yeah. now they don't want to let okay, me speak we'll have again, one okay. minute uninterrupted when, when you guys do it though all right go ahead all right there we go okay minute. cool so once again we neither me or destiny are making the argument that this was like an organized plot by a set of people who tried to get everybody to go there and everybody was in on it and they were on fucking like walkie talkies or whatever that, that's not our argument our argument is simply this you have a bunch of actors trump included you guys included who are building into this idea this conspiracy that the election is being stolen and as part of that conspiracy is the belief that hey right now if there, we go in there and you interrupt the stuff that's going on in the Capitol, we can save the election. That doesn't mean that those individual actors are planning and coordinating, hey, you guys go over there, you guys break in there, you guys do this there. It just means that everybody's building into this idea, and this idea <laughs> drove people to take what? this action. It's really not that complicated. <laughs> That's ridiculous. But to see, that's just ridiculous. That's it's we're, we're building, we're building into a concept. What the fuck does that even mean? We we participated in building into a concept of. Read we wrote you said in your opening statement because okay. you wrote your opening statement down. So reread that part of it because you now you're shifting the goalposts. What did I, you say? Exactly what I said is going to be is going to be perfectly congruent with what I just told you. So this is what I said. Okay, read it back. They've been brought there by a belief in a conspiracy that the election was being stolen and that they could prevent this from happening by storming the Capitol. Nothing about organization, nothing about like people coordinating shit, just talking about the idea, the conspiracy. You said they were brought there by the belief that they could stop the vote from happening. <laughs> and nobody thought that's that belief, they could do that's that. That's a belief, that's not organization. Nobody thought that they, except for the small number of militia members who did have walkie-talkies and did have, they, you know, there were probably 50 to 100 of them indicted because they did bring walkie-talkies and body armor and some brought weapons. Um, but the rest of the people, you, you know, you look at Trump's speech on the ellipse and Trump said, we're going to go to the Capitol and peacefully protest. That's in the Trump speech. Okay, and wait. So, can I, can I hear you? Oh, yeah, I need to talk. I need to talk real quick. Oh, yeah, Big has yeah. been waiting for a while, so let, let me come. So the reason that Nick keeps saying, like, you weren't there, it's not to be like, haha, you weren't there or, or whatever. Like, the point I think he's trying to make and, and what I would make is that it was such a like the Capitol grounds and like so many things were going on. Like me and Nick never saw each other that day, to be clear. Like I never I didn't see him at all. Not like not even from a distance or anything. That's how chaotic it was. The cell service was down. We we didn't know what was going on. Um, so where he was like. I don't even think he knew people were going into the Capitol or maybe like where I was even like, I, I was like, wait, people are climbing up these barricades. I don't really know what they're doing. Like you guys just made it seem like everyone's going there with this belief that we're going to go into the Capitol and we're going to stop the vote. That's simply not true. We literally have just proved that we had no fucking clue what was going on. Me and Nick being best friends didn't know being in the same area didn't know what was going on there was no coordinated plan it was a peaceful protest trump said go walk over to the capitol that's what we did me as a live streamer i followed the action i was peaceful i wasn't violent with anyone i didn't hurt anyone and also like you guys are wait, doing can this. i can I ask you a question big no, seriously shut up dude <laughs> and, and then I think Destiny was next, but uh, listen. Destiny. Let, let me. I'm gonna finish, and then Destiny can go. When Nick, what I, I I wasn't there. I didn't hear what Nick said. But it's like you can't talk in such bad faith. Like if if I say, oh, we got to get Hillary out of office. Like that doesn't mean we're gonna like gonna go in there and wrap her up and throw her out of the house. Like by him saying we need to get people out of there. Like. Don't take that so literally. Holy shit! Yeah, so I have a simple question for you, oh, then, that, Baker. That's all I got. Well, 
Well, Destiny, did you want to go or do you want yeah, to get well, it first? Yeah, wait. I have a I have a simple question too. I'm sorry. Oh, I have okay. I have to hear this. Okay. I just I want to see the because I like to read the threads after and I want to see the quote. So I want to hear I want to hear Baked Alaska Nick. Then if what you're saying is true. I just want to hear an admission of this. So you guys accepted that the election was over, even if it was cheating, and you were just going to go to cuck protest, knowing that nothing you were going to do was change the outcome, but you wanted to yeah, show up and like. That. So wait. So you were going there with the goal of changing the outcome or not? No, no, I had no goal. There was a hope that we could audit the election and get a fair result. Wait, hold on, hold on. You were going to audit it at the Capitol? Or, uh, I, this, okay, hold on. What? Wait, let's no, get Nick. Hold on. Let's no, let the, let's let, I have a really let, relevant Yeah, let me. Let I, 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 let's 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 we so were putting pressure on the I didn't even get the first right thing. Hold on. Okay. Right right. Destiny, finish your question yeah. because okay. you were. Um, okay. Okay. We'll let, we'll let Nick answer. So I just want to hear Nick say, I want you to, so you're saying like, yes, Destiny. Um, I went to the Capitol and I just wanted to protest with my friends. We knew that we weren't going to change the outcome. There was no pressure on the lawmakers. We knew that wasn't a realistic thing. We were just kind of going there to show how angry we were. That's, that's what you were yeah, doing. Yeah. Literally, literally, okay. literally right. that's exactly because here's the thing. That's all I wanted to hear. There no, were that's several right. days. Right. That's, I just want to hear that. Yeah, no, because there were several dates leading up to the six where, like, there was a deadline for the election to be certified. And there was, a, you know, there were a lot of deadlines leading up to that where we were going out to state capitals and we thought that the state legislature had a reasonable chance at overturning the outcome of their particular, the result of their contest. When we went out there for the sixth, I almost didn't even go because I said, what's the point? At that point, we were hoping that Mike Pence was going to like not count certain electoral votes. And we thought that would be a long shot. The only reason I went out to the six is because I had VIP tickets to go to the Trump rally. And Hello, I thought this is like one last hurrah. You know, we're going to go. Senator, yes, we have a fraudulent election. I would like to report. Yeah, we need to get our boy Donald J. Trump into office. Yeah. Yeah. Can we do that real quick? Oh, yeah. VIP tickets. We're going to go see Trump Jesus. one last time. We're going to sit in the front row and then that's it. I was going to get dinner with a friend that evening. We were going to do shoot some uh, some footage for our documentary and then that was going to be it. Honestly, I, and I said that on my show. That's backed up sure, by we believe you. my but when show. When Baked Alaska is like on a phone there saying <laughs> things like, we, like yeah, oh yeah, go ahead, Rose. Okay, yeah. okay. Well, okay. When I'm doing very short question, very short hold on, hold question. Hold on, hold on, hold on, really quick. Was, were you finished, Nick, before? Yeah. Okay, okay then, so, and then go ahead, Rose. Very short question either to Baked or to Nick. So when Nick said, I say that we should not leave this capital until Donald Trump is inaugurated president. What did he mean by this? You meant in 2020. When I say we're not leaving it till Trump is inaugurated <laughs> president, we're, say we're saying that we're protesting outside the capital until Mike Pence does the right thing and doesn't count the votes. Wait, so the goal I'm was sure. then to affect the outcome? Well, when we were there on the protest, yeah. Because Trump said you're going to go out to the Capitol and make Wait, your hold on. Did I just hurt. have a fucking stroke? I thought you just said that wasn't the goal. <laughs> I thought you were No, the goal resigned. was not to breach the Capitol and suspend the vote from occurring. You're talking about two different things. What Trump said was go to the lawn, make your voices heard, which is what we did. Yeah. That's what I did. Make I your voices heard. Apparently, voice heard. apparently until what you're saying, Donald Trump is inaugurated. What you said, what you said was there what you were building into the idea of suspending the vote by breaching the Capitol and uh, and the rest of it. Okay, but, but let's say let's say things. let's say that I grant you all that. Okay, let's say we're <laughs> we're in a very winding trail right now. I'm sorry. I feel like well, I'm, I, well, I feel I like I'm in the hotel the of the shining, okay? Is, well, let, let, so let's say I agree with you. So, you're there to it, protest, yeah. not to get the lawmakers to change their mind, but hopefully to get Pence to change his mind. And then you're shouting that you want to evict people from the Capital, but you want to evict them from the lawn, not the actual capital. And no, the, no, if, no, like, no. Oh yeah, see, you know, now, you, I'm sorry, no, I'm getting no. lost. See, now, now, yeah, now you're arguing you, 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 no, well, well, it back. Explain it for me. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm now I'm you're arguing a bad faith. Okay, no, I'm not trying. I'm just trying yeah. to. I'm trying to put it all together. So tell me. Yeah, you are. You are. No, no, no. I agree. I agree. There's condescending tone because you're not arguing in good faith. No, no. Destiny's making. I wasn't there, so I'm asking you. See, there it is. No, no, no. You're right. I wasn't there. I really wasn't. There's. Well, wait, but Destiny. Destiny. There's something else. All right, hold on, hold on. All right, Rose, Rose, go ahead. Yeah, there's something else we could easily. Whoa, whoa. I was asked the question. What? Are you scared? Oh, I think it was bad faith, though. Yeah, it was a bad faith question. You need to respond. It's okay. That that, that <laughs> question was a bad faith question. No, you no, only need no, to respond no, no. to this one. Okay, no. only this one. So uh, when you said storm every state capital until January 20th, 2021, until President Trump is inaugurated for four more years, what did you mean by that? Exactly what we did. 
Do you know what we did in the state capitals between November 3rd and, and January 20th? There are lots of occupied lawns, I'm sure. True. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. There were. Uh -huh. When we okay. said we're going to go to the state capitals from November 3rd until January 20th, what did we do in the state capitals? Did we did we breach the capitol and evict it? No, we went there and protested and we demanded that the Republican state legislatures inside recast the elector votes for Trump, which is exactly what we did on January 6th. Go figure. What, what, Go on what, the Capitol what? lawn and demand that Mike Pence not read the elector votes from the states where there was fraud. It's, it's honestly, though, it's disappointing because I think that the strength of your argument on the fraud doesn't work. So now you want to no, get no, we'll go to the fraud. Yeah, I promise you. We'll go to the fraud. Now you want to interrupt me. Now you interrupt me. Yeah, let's so finish and then go. Right. I think that what you're trying to do now is get into the semantics of rhetoric. You know, when you're giving a speech to, a, you know, 500,000 people or, or a crowd where there's 500,000 people, you know, I didn't take the stand. I didn't swear an oath and say, oh, you know, every everything that I'm saying should be judged a year later. Uh, it's rhetoric. We're on the Capitol lawn. But you want to make it personally, you want to make it about me. Let's make it about the facts. Was there a significant amount of people that had a premeditated plan to breach the Capitol and prevent the votes from being counted? No, that didn't exist. There were 500,000 people there and only 150 to 100 people got indicted for conspiracy. That's the facts. And if the DOJ and the FBI, which want to see me in jail more than anybody, you know, the DOJ said they were focusing on the Internet celebrities first. That's what Michael Sherwin, who was running the investigation in January, said. He said, we're targeting the e-celebs first. If they felt the same way that you do about that rhetoric, then I would have been indicted for conspiracy. But I wasn't. You know what? That's not you would be correct because, because you know where I got these quotes from because me? there's Actually, no evidence to support that. That's because given the context of our participation in Stop the Steal until that point and our participation on that day, it doesn't hold water. You know, so well, what do you know that the DOJ doesn't? Nick, you should know that, you know, where these quotes come from because and you also know that the government knows about these quotes because all these quotes came then from why a letter didn't they, you, me? they oh. came from a letter you received from the Select Committee to investigate the January the sixth attack on the United States Capitol on January nineteenth, twenty twenty two. So you should know perfectly how the government feels about all these quotes. Yeah, what's the argument there? No, I'm just saying that you're like, oh, if the government feels the same way you did, they would have done something different. The government they would have indicted me. Well, case. well, wait, wait. But now you're talking Sorry. about two different things. Now you're trying. talking about two different things. The <laughs> House Select Committee is congressional oversight. The DOJ is federal law enforcement. The DOJ investigation began immediately after January 6, 2021. The Select Committee didn't issue that subpoena until January 2022. Mm -hmm. Michael Sherwin, who ran the DOJ investigation in January, said... I think after the inauguration, so January, February 21, he said, we're going after the e-celebrities first. That's why they got Baked Alaska right away. That's why they got a lot of these guys right away. Um, and they Baked did Alaska investigate the me. Building. They, they are you didn't currently the building. investigating me. Rose, let finish. But there's no indictment. And there's no indictment because the things that you're saying do not constitute evidence of conspiracy or Brett, please uh, any, we got to do any, the timers Nick Rambo so much oh my god like he's about to start <laughs> oh, telling us what he ate for dinner just it's a debate it's a fucking debate it's not no, a matter of well, in, in all fairness hold on in all fairness they are have a little bit more on this than um probably you guys since they were there yeah, well, you're meant to i can't <laughs> believe people are talking during this debate this it's is not a matter crazy. of talking it's it's like it's like saying like well what were you doing on the lawn and it's like okay well you have to understand in 2017 when i first started doing my youtube stuff i was in communication a lot of different types of Republicans all across the country. And I wanted to build my kit. Like, you're, it's so much extra shit, right? Obviously, you're trying to obfuscate as much as you can because you don't want to directly answer the questions. But, like, at the very least, Brittany, if he's going to answer, Brittany, obfuscate. if he's going to, not neither of us, we're being very direct. That's why you've talked for like three times longer uh, than us, right? Brittany, no, we're just, being if he's, direct. If he's going to respond, 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 just put it like a minute timer because listening to him ramble about okay. a bunch my, of random shit is so irritating. To be clear, I'm going to reassert, I'm going to reassert, I'm going to reassert for like the 50th time. That's Neither so Rose nor I are asserting people. that there that was a so pre-planned that a pre-planned conspiracy <laughs> so existed. Neither me nor Rose was Coming saying that. Coming from Motormouth and, and, and for Nick to right, be no, here no, 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 no. and for Nick to be here and be like, well, if there wasn't a pre-planned conspiracy, then I, are you telling me that this evolved as it happened on the ground? You yeah, said welcome to every in your opening statement. Rose said that going wait, wait, somewhere finish. because of the Rose belief of a conspiracy theory is not the same thing as a conspiracy to commit a riot. 
Those are two uh, totally different uh, things. Oh, okay. Do, do, moving, wait, do you two moving, really not understand moving. that? Uh, if, okay, if I, if sure, I have a bunch sure. of friends and we all believe in the conspiracy... What, what was it? What if I was saying we were building into an idea? Wait, 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 Sure. So if a whole bunch of people are showing up in an area to protest because they believe in a particular conspiracy theory, like UFOs, and during the course of that protest, things turn into a riot and then eventually they break in or whatever, and you go like, wow, these guys all showed up because of a conspiracy theory. And then you go, well, the U.S. government didn't charge anybody with conspiracy. Because that criminal charge of conspiracy implies a pre-planned thing to do the riot. You can go to an area because you believe in a conspiracy theory. That's not the same thing as a conspiracy to commit a crime. I don't know why you're making that face. If you seriously can't understand that, you can't accuse me of being the one operating in bad faith. You know, Desmond is actually making is a really good strategy because by not understanding that, he will be deemed probably mentally incompetent. To go to <laughs> yeah, maybe. So. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So, so wait, Bake wanted like, to go next. I think I was addressed uh, in let, that. Let let right, Nick address that. Really good. Yeah. So what Rose said is that he, here, here's the important oh, thing. And once again, I, I apologize if I'm rambling during this debate. That's kind of the point, you know, and it's pretty rich a destiny of all people, Mr. <laughs> my sources say that you're going to accuse me of Ready, rambling. We're talking timer. about the facts. Oh, my God. Please. Please. Timer, though, by the way. Right this the facts on the ground. Please. So, get the timer on this. so in your opening statement, you say that we are the people that were there. There was this effort to stop the vote from happening. And that, that that was not a conspiracy before, during, or after. There was no intention to stop the vote. That that it's as crystal clear as that. And so you know you can say you can obfuscate this and say, well, we meant conspiracy theory. What he said is the people came there to prevent the vote from going forward. And I said, and I admitted, you know, based on recent indictments, some people that was their intention. The Proud Boys. And the uh, Oath Keepers, it seemed like they had a plan to stop the vote by breaching the Capitol. But they represented a small minority of people that even went in. And the people that went were a small minority of people that were there that day. So, you know, to say, oh, but you gave a speech on the lawn. There was no effort, no meaningful effort by anybody other than the, you know, two or three militia groups that were there to stop the vote. Even the people that went inside the building, it was not their intention before or during. I don't even think they understood exactly. The cops were letting people in. People have been acquitted on charges in recent cases, in recent trials, because there's video of the cops permitting people to walk in. Bates Alaska has a video where the cop goes, hey, as long as you're, Brittany, what is the timer at? Oh my God. Anything, wait, it's wait, cool wait, that wait, you're here. a minute right now. Uh, wait, that's on, that's on okay, video. God, Jesus. Right. What do we want that's to That's on video. Trump? So do we wanna, how do we want to keep going? Yeah. <laughs> 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 he's got a lot to say. He doesn't have a lot to say. All right, all right, all right. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Sure. I Let think that me and Rose have come to an agreement that we should, if we want to move on to the next part, because obviously um, these two aren't going to be able to speak for two years until their criminal case are over, I what? guess. Um, we should. We can focus what? on the election fraud part We're if you want. We're talking about everything. Um, so the, 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 because the idea that me and Rose are scared about the election fraud is hilarious. That's an even easier point to argue than than this stuff. So, um, yeah, What? What? Uh, Rose, you can do this if you want, or I can say it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we can start with the fact that, oh, you know, this thing deserves more scrutiny. Yeah, and it got more scrutiny. It got more investigations and it was more heavily scrutinized than any other election in U.S. history. When you talk about how, oh, you know, there's so many mail-in ballots. How crazy is this? I guess, you know, this is some, you know, perhaps wink, wink, nudge, nudge proof that the election is stolen. Like, the election occurred during a pandemic. Of course, more people are not going to want to go out and go fucking in mail-in voting. They're going to send it, uh, sorry, in person voting. They're going to want to mail-in vote instead. Um, furthermore, like when it comes to the things that you're talking about, about Arizona, for instance, uh, I would like to, for you to talk a little bit more about that because the Arizona audit pretty conclusively uh, like concluded that there was no uh, truth or to the claims that, you know, Trump was correct about Arizona or the things that were going on there. The people that presented it said this, the uh, Arizona senators and officials there stated the same thing. So I don't know what conclusions you're getting from this Arizona report that somehow, you know, they were correct in saying that the election was stolen. That doesn't seem true in any way, shape or form, whatever. So I've given you a few things there. I guess you can go work with those. I just, I just want to say something real quick. I'll let Nick respond. It, it, it's very ironic that you guys, you know, you say, this is the craziest election, all these mail-in ballots. Like Nick said, yes, then that deserves even more scrutiny, okay? And then also, you're going to come up here and say, wow, this is such a conspiracy theory that you wanted a you know fair election. Yet you guys, you liberals, wouldn't shut the fuck up about 
Hillary actually won and Trump didn't win, you know, Russia, Russia, Russia for four fucking years. So don't give me this shit. Okay? <laughs> Who is he talking to? <laughs> yeah, he's literally talking to nobody, yeah. dog. I'm talking All right, to can Hillary I can I jump in here? Night. Yeah, go, yeah go ahead. So, um, with regards to the uh, scrutiny, and oh, this was the most scrutinized election in history, why was it then that no states from November 3rd until January 20th had an independent ballot audit? How long does it normally take for states to have independent ballot audits? They could have had them right there. How long why, does it why normally take? That's not the question. How long does it normally take? Why, why, is, why does that matter? Because if it why normally takes a few weeks for these commissions to get together, then it seems like nothing is out of the ordinary. It takes a few weeks. Okay. How, how much time was there between November 3rd and January 20th? More I, than I don't, a few I, weeks probably, so, right? The, so you don't have the proper information to ask this question. So I'll ask you one more time. How long <laughs> oh does it gosh. normally take to do a <laughs> this ballot? This is an unbelievable how long level it, of obfuscation. Here, how long did it take to settle the Bush election? You don't have an answer for me. Wait, wait. So he said, oh, I think it's you that doesn't have the answer. He said that there was more scrutiny than ever before. Uh, no, there wasn't. And you could say, oh, well, that's because scrutiny takes time. OK, well, then you're conceding then that there wasn't adequate scrutiny. That yeah. No, I, I never that doesn't even that's the biggest non I've heard in my life. So you're asking me, why did it take so long? For the, for there no, to be into no, that's not what I said at all. OK, wait, what did you he say? Said, say it one more time. Say it one more time. Said, I'll, I'll spell I'll try not to ramble. He said, simply put, this was a scrutinized election. I said, really? Then why wasn't there an independent ballot audit? Not one between November and January when when the election was being fulfilled, essentially, you know, when when the process was put in motion for the so-called transfer of power. Sure. You know, and, then my, yeah, sure. and then my votes, question the to you, my question to you is and you how said, long. Well, but wouldn't that take long? No, it doesn't matter. That wasn't, that no, wasn't, that wasn't my matter. question. Let me restate. The, the hold on. Wait, we're going to no, no, wait. I have, to, I have to be. Okay, right, so I'm going to very specifically ask you this question. OK, how long does it normally take? to scrutinize an election. How long does it normally, do you have any other election where it was done two days later? Yeah, a week 2000. Later? That where all, so all of that was settled in a matter of a few weeks? Yes, yeah, yes so it they, was. They, so just to be, so they had independent audits within a few weeks of the 2000 election. I thought for Florida, didn't they recount the ballots themselves? Wait, hold on. They didn't, I, or, yeah, sorry, go ahead. You're, what did you say, Nick? Are you saying that there were independent audits within a few weeks of the 2000 election? No, I'm saying that in 2000, okay, the so question was, a different when, question. The, Okay, you know, you could throw your hands up, but the question was, you know, when was there any other election that was scrutinized in the amount of time? Wrong. No, the that's not the inauguration. inauguration. Hold on, that, I want to I refocus. We're going to do we one more time. Are we in a debate? Or Nick, what, what are we doing here exactly? What are we doing? Are we just going to, you know, you're I don't understand what the goal is Yeah, okay, so very specifically, Nick, your on, challenge, wait. Nick's challenge was, why did it take so many months to get independent? That's elements? not, that's not, that's not what I said. That's not what I said. one time. Go ahead, say one time. What You said, how long does it take, Destiny? I said, yeah, that's coming from you. I said, why were there no independent ballot audits? If, but if there's... Well, no, no, there were, though. If you say there's scrutiny, no, you said then what, what does scrutiny oh, look hold on, like? Wait, it there looks were like an audit. There were independent ballot audits. Were there not? No, there was not. Not till after. There was not one. When did... Until? Until? It happened It happened in the summer of 2021. So there were, so there were independent the ballot audits. So there were independent ballot audits. So then my question, we're doing the same thing, is I'm asking But that you, happened after no, the inauguration. That's fine. I'm asking, we're talking about the steel. I'm asking you, when have has any other election had independent ballot audits? And you pointed to the year 2000. There's never been another election where there's 40% oh, mail-in ballots. Okay. Well, there we go. Okay, unusual. thank you. I wish you would have just said it in the beginning. <laughs> oh so you're God. asking me. So you're you guys are me, retarded. So you're asking me, Nick. <laughs> you you're guys saying, are absolutely Nick, you're retarded. Saying, you're saying, <laughs> by your own admission, you're saying, why wasn't where was it unprecedented? Wait, why wasn't wait, it? Wait, 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 wait. Why was it that? Why was it? Okay. Destiny, go, then Nick. I'm yeah, so now, so now let's reformat your question a little bit more reasonably. What you're asking for was... <laughs> you're rambling, bro. You're rambling. <laughs> Is he done? Okay, so just what you're asking simple. for... I understand you're nervous. Just say it I know simple. that you're, you're scared to let me talk. Much. Nick, I know you're scared. You're rambling I know you're scared. I know you're scared. No, you're rambling. I know, you're rambling. I know you'd, I know you'd much rather be... You're going back to 2017. Wait, 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 wait. Let Destiny just go, and then Nick. It's all right. Listen, just sing happy birthday in your head, pretend you're in another party. You'll be okay, right? I'll just get to it. So Okay, so the question more specifically... I friends than you. The question more specific well, depending on how you, no, I'm just kidding. Okay, the, the question more specifically that you're asking is destiny. Why did it take so long for an unprecedented level of independent that's verification not, to happen to the ballots? And to that, Nick, I have to say, wow. I'm not really sure. I'm not really, I'll, I'll get the, I, I know that you're afraid. You do, you interrupt people when you're afraid to let them finish because you know my point makes sense. No, no, you could go ahead. You okay, can finish. cool. I'm going to repeat it again because he won't let me finish, Brittany. I'm yeah, so sorry. You're going to ramble. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, I'm not rambling. I'm actually very to the point. You're um, repeating yourself. I, 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 That's I, I, rambling. You're killing me. Just get yeah, to I'm it. I'm trying well, to go ahead. Go ahead. So you're, so you're actual. So you're actual. Us, I know the trigger, Nick. It's okay. So your actual question was, why wasn't there an unprecedented amount of independent scrutiny of the elections sooner than what actually happened? And to that, I would respond, I don't know. I don't know how long it normally takes to set up those independent commissions. Now, when you point to the year 2000, those recounts were done by the state of Florida. I don't believe there were any independent commissions set up to look at the Florida recounts. So I don't know why you would bring that up as an example when you're really asking about an unprecedented event. By your own admission, all the mail-in ballots were unprecedented. So I don't know if you're trying to prove anything there, but yeah, that's my response. Okay, so l let me say this again because I like it's honestly disturbing. It's like you're not hearing me, or maybe you just don't speak English today. But Rose said, "Well, uh, the election was scrutinized," and I said, "Really? Because there wasn't an independent ballot audit." And then you go, uh, "Nick is saying that it didn't wait, happen on. Are you soon. It enough? wasn't one at That's all. That's not what I'm you saying. Hold on, hold on, Rose. Wait, just let that. Yeah. Let what, so know. not. Oh, yeah. No, you're afraid of what I'm saying. So. Yeah. If you say the election was scrutinized, but there weren't ballot audits when the election was contested between November, it's not about how soon, it's about wh when and where the scrutiny was applied. There was no scrutiny during that time. There, there, were, was. there was a recount, there were, but that's not several, even what we were asking was, for in 2020. There was we were scrutiny, asking for though. an independent ballot audit, which didn't occur. An independent ballot audit is not the only type of scrutiny there can be. So for instance, one of the statements that Barr made Barr, Attorney General Barr, one of the statements that he made was um, that they had actually gotten some of the machines that you guys accused of being rigged. The FBI themselves had torn one of these machines apart. I didn't apart, accuse the they, machines of being that's rigged. That's great that you didn't, but when you're trying to say that, well, where's the scrutiny? Where was the independent audit? That's not the only type of scrutiny there can be. There can be tons of other types of scrutiny. One of those was Barr making a statement on behalf of the FBI saying that like, oh yeah, we'd actually gotten some of these machines, we torn them apart. We don't see any evidence of malfeasance because one of your guys' claims was that, well, the machines were miscounting votes. One of the machines, right? There's many different types of scrutiny, independent ballot audits are only one type of scrutiny. States auditing their own system is another type of scrutiny. Um, you know, different uh, electoral things that are put into to whether you're talking about voter ID or whatever, it can also be other types of scrutiny. Um, yeah, purging the voter rolls okay, can be another type you, of scrutiny, yeah. Do you know the difference between a recount and an audit? Um, not offhand, I think a recount is when you just go through and you check your own tallies and an audit is when you start matching, verifying signatures or whatever, it probably varies based on place to place. Yes, mm -hmm. so. So you say, well, but there's lots of different kinds of scrutiny. If we're claiming that the mail-in ballots are the source of the fraud, it requires an audit. No, it doesn't. it doesn't. Say, oh, but they, but they took apart it, the machines. It doesn't okay, require that, an audit. That has, no, it that's doesn't. That's a non sequitur. That has nothing to do with the claims of fraud. There's 43% mail-in ballots. That That is, and yeah, Sidney Powell might have said some goofy stuff, and Lynn Wood said some goofy stuff. I've never claimed anything about the machines were hacked by China. That's ridiculous. The source of the fraud, you could go back to June 2020, and Trump said the, when, when they changed the rules because of the pandemic, he said the source of the fraud would be the mail-in ballots. I even said in October before the election, I said on Infowars, there'll be a red mirage, they'll count all the votes from election day, and then in the weeks ahead, they'll count the mail-in ballots, and that'll be the source of the fraud, and that'll be the problem. And you know, the only type of scrutiny that, that would investigate that would be an audit, because only in an audit do you have the signature checks, do you check for duplicates, only in an audit do you have sufficient scrutiny. Recounts are not going to find the fraud from mail-in ballots. Taking apart the machines has nothing to do with anything. So you could say, yeah, that's well, there was lots of scrutiny. Well, if, yeah. you're, if you're trying to dismiss claims of fraud by saying, well, we looked at it, Got to look the, at the, the things that you're talking about, yeah. they, they weren't discerning the kind of fraud that we're even discussing. So, I understand so that doesn't work at all. So then the so, question is, for all of the independent commissions that happened afterwards, why didn't they find any fraud? Why didn't they find any There was one independent ballot audit, and it found 100,000 discrepancies. In Arizona? What, is, what do you mean when you say discrepancies? Yes. Yeah, what is a discrepancy? In, for 74,000 mail-in ballots, they were not able to see that those ballots were even sent out to people. In other words, for 74,000 people, there was no paper trail that those votes were, that those ballots were even sent, that those absentee ballots were even sent to people for them to then deliver them in boxes. And then there were 14,000 votes where the people were taken off the voter rolls after the election, meaning that they shouldn't have been voting in the 2020 election. And then there were, then there were, uh, you know, 2,000 here and there about other kinds of things, dead people and this and that, um, but the main thing is 74,000 where there's no there's no paper trail for the ballots and there's 14,000 where the people are taken off their voter rolls. And then I think you had like, you know, there, there were a little bit more. But point being is the margin was 10,000 and you're having, you know, whether it's 74,000, 14,000, the remaining 10 or whatever, 
uh, you know, that are unaccounted for where there's questions. And the point is not to say, oh, well, those were all fake votes for Biden. It's not to say that. It's to say that there's a question about their legitimacy. And if you don't know about 100,000 ballots and the margin was 10, you know, you can't say that that was a fair contest. That's the claim. And there was that, that was the only independent ballot audit that even occurred after through the entire process. OK, so just in response to this, so this you're talking about the cyber ninja audit that happened with Arizona, right? So those that yeah. so the claim was that they had received 74,000 mail in ballots that they couldn't trace or whatever. But the issue is that the way that they got that 74,000 number was they were looking at early voting. But the issue is that you don't have to early vote only by mail. You can early vote in person at vote centers. All of these are considered early votes. In July of 2021, Maricopa County literally responded to this exact claim and explained the discrepancy for where these 74,000 mystery votes were. It was for people just going to an early voting center and vote. You don't have to mail out a ballot for that. Furthermore, 23,000 of those extra, Trump called those phantom voters, which essentially means that the address of the vote no longer reflects or there is nobody living in that house at the moment when the audit was done. And that's simply the case when people are, for example, moving or when they're voting from abroad, they're using a mail-in vote and there's nobody living in the house at the moment. This is normal in every election that there are like things like this going on as well. And Trump calls them phantom votes, but really like they're just like frictional votes that happens when people move houses. But here's the problem. Here's the problem. A new problem. You guys probably didn't even know about the Cyber Ninja audit until you just Googled it right now. The problem is Good that argument. these ballots, the I, I don't know, did you say something? The problem is that these ballots represent major discrepancies in the election. You could go in there and say, oh, well, that's probably just this. Well, maybe it's just something else. Well, maybe it's just that. When you've got a margin of 10,000 and you've got close to 100, more than 100,000 ballots where there's questions about the paper trail, where there's questions about the address, where there's questions about should they be on the voter roll, did the voter die? That's not good enough. And to say you go from, well, it was already scrutinized to, oh, it was this one time. Well, uh, the, those votes are probably fine. Those discrepancies are probably something else. It's not good enough. Okay, so and if that was going on in Arizona, then you have to wonder what was going on then in Georgia and Michigan and Wisconsin and Pennsylvania. And until we get independent ballot audits, we, that's the problem is we really don't know. And so I started the debate by saying, you know, it's not to say that we have evidence that there, you know, here's the all these Biden right, votes right? that were fake. It's that there were what? Like, he's, he's the timer running because you're like you're rambling again. Yeah. About the time. Yeah. yeah. See, when I make a point that oh, then it's rambling. You're, 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 yeah. you're recentering the early part. The of point race. is. Yeah. The point is that when there's discrepancies, we, we don't know. And that's a problem when you're using those votes as the basis for picking the next president. That's an issue. Gotcha. So, so if you're going to wait, standard, wait, hold on. If, yeah, I want to do this until Brittany stops us. If you're going to repeat yourself, I'll, I'll, I'll repeat myself. So Maricopa County literally tweeted out on their official account claim. Maricopa County received 74,000 more mail-in ballots than we sent. Facts. In Maricopa County, we allow people to vote early in two ways. One is by mail and two in person at vote centers. These are all considered early votes. The people who vote in person use ballots provided at a vote center. This is not a new practice, so it's not unusual that we would have more early votes than mail-in ballots sent. In addition, the EV32 returns and the EV33 files are not the proper files to refer to for a complete accumulating of all early ballots sent and received. So Cyber Ninja, that little cute firm, did not demonstrate that there was an issue here just because they received more mail-in ballots than were sent out because they didn't receive more mail-in ballots that were sent out. They received more early votes than mail-in ballots were sent out, which is to be expected in a county that allows you to show up early and vote at a vote center. That's not true. That's not true. And, so they're and just lying. Okay, so they're just lying. This account is just lying about their election procedure. They're not. It's not that they're lying. It's that they don't know what they're talking about. The it's election. That they, they're actual. They're, 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 no, they're making assumptions about these discrepancies, which is the problem. Okay, and let's just go to that. If you're just going to claim that like, the official election, right, election right, source is lying. Like, yeah. interrupts for a minute, okay. it's going to start over. So, um, sure. all right, Nick. Yeah, well, there's no response. If he's just going to say there's a lie, like then I can't win any of the debates. No, no, no. It's not saying there's a lie. It's not saying there's a lie. It's saying that they're trying to protect their credibility they don't know about these seventy-four thousand ballots they're saying oh well uh there we received more ballots than we sent out uh they were early votes they don't know that they didn't conduct the audit and when they say oh well, this is not a new practice or something they're making assumptions about where these ballots are coming from and that's the problem is we can't just hand wave it away and say um well well we think these ballots were just early ballots or something they're protecting their credibility of course so no, but the problem not is that firm Hold on, no, his minutes, his minutes is, started over now. 
<laughs> That's <laughs> why you have to do an independent ballot audit, because, of course, the county, you know, what we're claiming about the fraud is that, of course, the county election officials are complicit in it. That's what a fraud would look like. So you can't have the, the, the county say, we investigated our own election and we found there were no problems. That's why you bring in an independent firm. And you could call that cute, but it's an independent firm. And they come in and say, hmm, there's all these big discrepancies. And they say, oh, well, uh, the, probably those, well, we just got those as early votes or something. It doesn't work. So, yeah, of course, you're going to trust the independent firm over the county. The county conducted the election. They investigated themselves and found there was no fraud. Oh, that's cute. That's convenient. But but you're claiming you, you you yourself are acknowledging that that ninja firm they didn't find any like auditing problems either they just found that there were more early early votes than mail in ballots that were sent out that's all that you're saying that you have no evidence of anything literally right like uh, uh, on the contrary they, there's evidence of close to a hundred thousand discrepancies in the vote no no there's hold on so your evidence those hundred thousand discrepancies are that more early votes happened than mail in ballots were sent out. That's not evidence of anything, though, because all early votes, including early votes in person, are counted as an early vote. So you have no. You evidence. don't know that. You're getting that. For, that's that's how I'm the county getting that is information from Maricopa County that runs their from elections. The county that yeah, runs from their the elections. County. Yes, that runs their elections. They yes. brought in an independent. Did you not hear what I just said? Yes, the I'm county telling you, investigated you're not their own anything. discrepancies you're and saying, found that they were You're saying that an all. independent person came in and said there were discrepancies. When you say that, it sounds like you're saying, oh, well, did they match signatures? Was there something wrong? No, they looked at two pieces of paper and said, how did you guys have more early votes than mail-in ballots were sent out? And, I, and the Maricopa County has answered, and you don't have a response for that answer. I do. I, I just answered it. I just answered it. You're taking the word of the county over the independent investigation, which found that there were close to 100,000 discrepancies. What are those 100,000 discrepancies? What does that mean, Nick? The 74,000 ballots that were sent in by mail that weren't sent they out They weren't initially. sent in and by mail. That's wrong. You're lying. You're using the county source saying, oh, well, we have a perfect explanation for that. Uh, they were just not mail-in ballots at all. They were early votes. You bring in an independent commission because the county cannot investigate its own election. But the, that's the problem. The independent commission Hello? didn't find that these were mailed in votes. They didn't. They did. That's not a finding of theirs. They just said you had more early votes than mail in ballots that were sent out. They did. They did. They said that there were seventy four thousand like that, and then they said there were fourteen thousand where people taken off the voter rolls. And you come in here and say, oh well, but the county, the county came in and explained that away. The county cannot investigate. Okay. Well, let me I, ask I mean, you. Like, this, like if, you, if you think that like, they're literally just lying th about their election. Can, well, like, yeah. well, let's let's ask it like this. <laughs> Do you think that if the county is accused of voter fraud, can the county investigate itself and clear itself of wrongdoing? The county Does hasn't been accused of voter fraud. The county had a claim levied against them from a company that didn't understand how they counted their votes. Oh, That's the issue. Oh, I Ninja, see. Cyber the independent okay, investigator where did Cyber Ninja, didn't understand. Where did, uh, yeah, where did Cyber Ninja allege fraud? Can you explain that to me? The, we've been over this, dude. The you fraud. said you don't what want to repeat. No, no, yeah. Tell me what is the election fraud. 74,000 discrepancies in the ballots no, no, no. that were sent Discrepancy in, is and 14,000 from the people that were taken off the Nick, voter rolls. Where's where the fraud? You're getting Nick, away from the, the fraud. No, no, I'm direct. I am county sitting on the point. I'm not trusting the county. The county is explaining mm. that their discrepancies oh. are explained. Now, I'm asking you. Well, you're saying, well, they found fraud. What is the fraud? The discrepancies? Because they didn't understand what early The police indicted me for a crime. But I investigated myself and I found out that I didn't commit the crime at all, actually. That makes do you know, perfect Nick, sense. Do you have any idea yeah, what you, like, the normal numbers on these like voting from prior no, addresses or what normal do. discrepancies look like in an average election? Well, let me ask yes you no. this. If the well, yes or no. Hold 10, on. I need to answer that question. Well, let me yes ask no. you this. If Wait, the margin I mean, is 10, I asked 000, first, okay? The, no I'm asking like, the questions here. Of if the margin no, is 10,000. No, I asked first. What is this? Oh, my. He's scared to answer. He doesn't know. If the margin is 10,000, then how are you okay with 100,000 discrepancies? Well, what, I'm going to re ask maybe 100, my question. Discrepancies Do is you normal. have any idea what the normal amount of discrepancies for elections are of the discrepancies defined as you define them? If there's 10 idea? times more than you're the margin of my difference. Questions. Brittany, can you because, make Because you're trying question? to derail this because it's obvious. You're trying to derail this because it's obvious. Brittany, if there's 10,000 votes that, that separate the winner from the loser, me? <laughs> and there's 100,000 discrepancies, <laughs> that's too many discrepancies, obviously. How do, wait, you it's, say obviously, but you have nothing 1, to do You have no framework. more than the margin of difference. You, you For something to be obvious, for something to be clearly wrong, you need like a, a framework to understand that something is obviously wrong. Yeah. So I'm asking you a simple question. Do you have a basic framework? Do you know? The framework the is that amount? there's 10 times more discrepancies than there were 
difference not between yeah, here, Trump here, and Biden. Here, here's wait, wait, wait. Here, this, this is classic. It's, it's just it like is classic. Before. So here's the question. So like we, don't, we don't trust. You know, there's we 50 don't trust people indicted county. for conspiracy. Uh-huh. So you go, well, what about ramble. your This speech? is a ramble. This is a ramble. So there's, we don't trust. ten times we more don't discrepancies trust. and difference. You go, well, uh, what was Keep it like talking. in another Keep election? It's uh, I don't know. What's the tallest tree in California? It's a non So So Maricopa County, we don't trust them to talk about their election results. Can you talk to us? What is We brought in an independent. Yes, we did. Talk about what is that independent? You bring in an independent firm to investigate. What is the independent firm? Cyber Ninjas. What are they? Who are they? What do they do? Do they even still exist? See, this is this is the whole. This well, no, is the I'm whole curious. Approach. We don't Cyber trust. We don't 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 trust. Wait, hold on. You're I telling me we can't trust Maricopa believe County. The level of like cognitive trust. dissonance. Here. If I can't trust Maricopa County, I, that's fine, Nick. I believe you. I can't trust him. So tell me about Cyber Ninja. Why should we trust them? Who are they? They were brought in by the Arizona State Senate to conduct the independent ballot audit, on. and they Who went over they? every they were single ballot. In, hold on, I'm asking. You, do you have an answer yes. for me? Who? What are the? What, what are cyber? This, this are is they? this is what you do. You appeal then to the complexity. You appeal then to complexity to dodge the broader. We just argued the whole time about. Oh, there were a hundred thousand discrepancies. Oh well, mm, I don't even know what Cyber Ninja is now. I don't even know what site. Could you name who works at Cyber Ninja? Can you tell me the employees that work? Can you tell me who runs Maricopa County? So here's a question. I'm just gonna wait, say, wait, wait. Can what? you tell me who runs Maricopa County? Because you trust them? No, I trust the county. I don't need to know who's there. Can you? Right? Well, oh, well, who runs it? What is Maricopa County? What kind of gov? Who runs Maricopa? It's something County? that's probably been empowered by the state in order to run their elections. Who runs it? What, what's wait, the, what's wait, the title? I don't know. Ultimately, question. the governor Nick, of the Nick, state Nick, legislature. Nick. Wait, no, 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 wait. This is really important. This is <laughs> okay. important. So the question is. So, the so question you trust is, Maricopa? You don't even know who runs it. Here, here's wait, the question. Here's the question. No, 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 wait, no, Let Destiny go. Let Destiny go. So, so the question is. Let's say hypothetically it was the case that cyber ninjas has zero experience auditing any elections ever do you think that maybe i would trust maricopa county a little bit more than a random cybersecurity firm that's never done this ever in the existence of the company when it did exist you're hand waving away a hundred thousand discrepancies. It's, okay, fuck me, dude. Yeah, okay. Go Wait, ahead, yeah, yeah, fuck you. Okay. <laughs> I, have, I have a question. Nick, Nick, also, I also do. I just Nick. want to make a comment in the rosy. I like that the state that we can't trust to audit their own elections. We can trust them to bring in an independent person to verify the elections. But go ahead, Rose. Rose. That's true. <laughs> okay, Nick. Simple question. Uh, Nick, do you own a car? Yeah. What brand is that car? Uh, it's a Ford. Do you know that your car is going to explode when you like turn on the ignition? Yeah, I do. Who owns Ford as a company? Who supervised uh, the creation Ford. of your card? Henry Ford. He, he owns the company current day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Okay, excellent. Great engagement with my question. Yeah, Bill Thank Gates. You, You're welcome. <laughs> See, the, the, this no is the problem. You. This is, you people <laughs> aren't even interested based. in the truth. Yeah. These people aren't even interested in the fundamentals. Yeah. Well, well, and well, that's the problem. The whole thing, a conspiracy theory, clearly there was, you know, this independent audit. There was all this energy put towards you know, trying to figure out the actual results of the vote. So which is it? You know, clearly it's not a conspiracy. I mean, theory. Cyber Ninja didn't even We're find fraud. Hundreds, they just have this discrepancy. Talking putting board, in right? hundreds of thousands of dollars towards, you know, Wait, hold on. Truth here, so clearly not a conspiracy theory. Destiny, you're underselling the findings of the Cyber Ninjas dramatically, okay? They actually <laughs> found at the end of the day when they yeah. tallied the votes that there were an additional 99 votes for Biden and 261 fewer votes for Trump. So you're underselling them there okay, a bit. What they actually found with the report. Oh, it's the same so thing just, that they did with the recount. Make sure we got them. But the point stands that if you find significant evidence of discrepancies mm-hmm. and a source of discrepancies, then you have to throw out the electoral. Absolutely. Context. It all has to, to be tossed. Absolutely. And every single state, every, of course, yeah. I mean, the thing no, is, no, at the end the of the state, day, in the state where an independent commission is brought in mm-hmm. and they found 10 times more discrepancies. Hold on. Independent than there were commission. Difference. It was an independent private cybersecurity firm with no background or history in ever doing election research ever. So just to be clear, but. Uh, yeah, it, it, yeah, that does raise pretty serious questions about the integrity <laughs> of the election. It raises some you serious laugh, questions. I don't laugh, know if it's about the integrity but of the election. People but. that are all about our sacred democracy, but when it comes to this stuff, you go, oh, good enough. Mm. Uh, all these discrepancies, all these mail-in ballots. Oh, uh-huh. well, the firm wasn't legit. Well, the county investigated themselves. The problem is you guys don't even care. It's all just about, uh, mm, well, but but who runs Cyber Ninja? You're not even concerned. You're not even the slightest bit concerned about the fact that there's very legitimate questions. There are legitimate, no legitimate questions. We already a legitimate explained. source of scrutiny We here already explained. Like, about whether or not the so, ballots yeah. that so were he, sent in yeah, by so mail are legit. So you have a private firm with no background in election monitoring ever that literally was kept afloat by millions of dollars of donations from pro-Trump groups. And even this independent firm never found any fraud. The best that they could do was misread a piece of paper and say there's a whole bunch of discrepancies. They that mi- Maricopa how do you know they ca- misread it? 
Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. What was the fraud they found, Nick? How do you know that they wait? Can, can you tell you me what fraud they, they found? misread it? What did they misread? They, mis what did they, they misread? misread the forms for reporting the difference between early votes and oh, mail-in ballots. Oh, they just misread it. Yeah, oh, exactly. that's convenient. Which makes sense for like a default that's cybersecurity convenient. firm that they has no- They found 74,000 discrepancies and the county comes yeah, out and we've says, explained that. oh, hi, yeah, we've sweetie, you just that. misread the form. Yeah, and that's great. Oh. And you know what? Mm -hmm. I would expect it from a firm that's pretty incompetent, that's just getting a ton of money from oh, pro-Trump places that, you know, are basically just there trying to see- And then also at the end of all their findings- They misread it. There was no fraud. Where's the fraud, Nick? So let's right, wait, wait. Can wait, you tell me where the fraud this. is without saying let's discrepancy? Can you tell me where the fraud is? I know you're is? getting nervous, right? I know you're getting nervous. I'm so, so let's nervous. Track yeah, we had let's a nervous one to this yeah, debate. Very nervous. You are. Because yeah, first, I'm first you said. Oh, we're going to uh, do the thing where we ramble about a bunch of random. I have stuff, a yeah. timer, right? But no, I have no, we, we need okay, to, let it we need to go track. Ahead, go ahead, we need to track how the goalpost has shifted over the course of this conversation. So first you said, oh, there was already perfect scrutiny. And it's like, really, where was it? Uh, well, there's lots of scrutiny. Okay, what about independent ballot? Mm, well, uh, those discrepancies were explained by the county. Oh, really? The county investigated itself? Well, the firm is just new and they just misread it or something. So you go from there was scrutiny applied to, oh, okay, well, maybe not that kind, but other kinds. Okay, the other kinds aren't legit. Well, that kind, mm, well, maybe they just misread it to, oh, well, the firm is just new anyway. Do you see how over the course of the conversation it has shifted from, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, to I Googled what you just said, to, hmm, I read something in an article and I half understand it, to, well, you don't know who runs Cyber Ninja anyway. Cyber and Ninja's the, and the bottom official line is, ballot the bottom count line is, leaned more hands. towards Biden than the counties did. The bottom line is we were out there during Stop the Steal because there were legitimate questions <laughs> about the in Arizona? of the election. You come back I mean, it's part of every state capital, right? Wait, 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 okay, so Nick has like, you have like 15 more seconds to just uh, wrap up what you're going to say and then... Uh, well, I can't, I can't wrap up. These are going to interrupt, so, I mean, oh, I made sure, my cool. point. So the point is, sure. the point okay. is from start to finish, there's not, there's not even a consistent theme here. I mean, they don't so, even know what they're talking about. They're Googling things in the middle of the debate. Literally. Well, there was scrutiny. Uh, well, I just Googled Cyber Ninja and I just found something out. It's like, you're not prepared. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't even care about the truth. It's just this Wait, wait, real quick, real quick. Let's go from start to finish. So first of all, you saying that you were able to Google and disprove my claim in five seconds is a slight against your argument, not ours. I'm number one. You, number two. But you didn't disprove number it. Number two. Number we two. We didn't disprove excuse it. Excuse me, I'm Brittany. He's interrupting me. I'm sorry. I'm started your timer over. Relax. Thank you. Jesus. <laughs> yeah, chill <laughs> out. I'm So true. Chill out. So let's start from start to finish. The original claim was, um, why wasn't there any scrutiny? And it's like, well, what do you mean? There was lots of scrutiny. Well, when I say scrutiny, I mean, why weren't there independent investigations on the ballots like when has that ever happened before well it happened in 2000 no it didn't that was florida they I did it themselves that. oh okay well okay fine so then the re-question is was this ever happening ever in u.s history that we have independent well no but like it's happening now okay well what did they find now well they found that there was huge evidence of voter fraud what was that evidence of voter fraud okay well they never either. ever said fraud a I'm single time <laughs> what they said was there were discrepancies okay what kind of discrepancies well when we look into it the discrepancies they said was well there were seventy four thousand more mail-in ballots received than what were sent out oh that's actually that's a good point nick oh but hold on maricopa county says that they read the wrong forms and that the ballots that were sent out are added to the early ballots that are voted on in person, and that's what that, that early vote number comes from. That the cybersecurity firm that was hired to investigate this misunderstood where early votes come from. And now, now I'm being told that I'm supposed to accept that that cybersecurity firm with no past history whatsoever in election investigation that is now defunct, that they themselves said no voter fraud existed, that was kept afloat by millions of dollars of pro-Trump investigations, that this firm saying, well, there were discrepancies that Maricopa County has already accounted for is supposed to make me think there was election fraud. That's what we've gone from start to finish. And it's laughable that you think you've made a case for anything i and yield the rest of my time to rose risk all of the lawsuits the cases after case the you know the william Barr, which is trump's own appointee those cases which were done in courts where the, the judges were appointed by trump himself the fbi the doj the dhs and all of this is what we have on my on, on our side over here in this debate so it's not just that oh we're debating the intricacies of the cyber security thing and there's nothing else supporting our side we have all this evidence this huge tower of things over our side and we're debating about whether or not this tiny little fucking thing on your side even exists in the first place. We, we That's the old wow, position. nice pivot. Do I get another really minute? Yeah, I'm, I'm, like I'm starting it over. Go ahead. Okay, 
Your oh. initial claim. Wait, 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 not yeah no I'm oh, not. I guess rambling, um, rambling. You better, you better I'm rambling this a bit. Uh, now we no, Do they stop okay. now, Brittany, or do we just restart? Well, you're starting your minute. Go. Another um, minute. Well, okay. you guys no, yeah, interrupt. Okay, I'm just starting them over. Talk. Listen. Go to you. Okay, your, I got your, initial, over. your initial fucking thing. Wait, what just happened? No, hold on. So we we and we still haven't overcome. We still haven't overcome the fact that, despite everything that Nick is saying, he has been unable to answer. He's making fun of us for not being researched and not knowing our things or whatever. He has been unable to prove a single frame of reference or put anything like that in place with all of his comparisons. It happened before with the, oh, you know, nothing had been done in the first few months with independent audit. It happened again when it came to the, oh, you know, um, yeah, how much is like the average amounts of like discrepancies for counties like this and investigations like this? He was unable to answer. He's just able to take like numbers and things just out of context. And because he has no frame of reference, he's just going to be like appeal to, oh, big number, big number here when we're talking about huge oh things, my right? God. We're literally oh, talking about oh, elections. In the Do I get another minute oh, now? Oh, no, I'm <laughs> I should get another minute, to be clear. I mean, I can keep talking if you really want me to. If they, wanna, they seem really interested in the Rosary's monologue here. So maybe I should give them what make, Listen, Your original claim was that the voter fraud was a conspiracy theory. You literally said that over and over and over. Yeah, we have we have proven that wrong. Why would the Arizona government invest hundreds of thousands of dollars into an independent audit if this was a conspiracy theory? But but of course, <laughs> moving the I can't goalposts. defeat an argument like that. All right, I'm starting his minute over. Yeah, another minute. I want to hear him talk more. Yeah, keep, keep laughing and doing your little cope, little irony thing. You know, you've been proven wrong. Over and over. I mean, in the beginning, this was about January 6th and how me and Nick are guilty. And then, you know, you lost that one. So you moved it to election fraud. So go ahead. Go ahead, Nick. Wait, I'm interrupting yeah. again. Can I give him one I'm more minute, please? Whoa, whoa. It's my turn. Okay. It's my yeah, turn. Ahead. And I get two minutes because you just said that. So, <laughs> go ahead. Um, so it's, I think it's really funny that Rose tries to pivot. He's like, well, uh, we have all this other stuff. We don't need to focus on this. We don't need to focus on this little thing where we got fucking blown the fuck out. Well, let's focus on, uh, there's still lots of other things that we didn't talk about yet. The independent ballot audit is so important because you started out, you opened this, this conversation up when we finished with 1-6 by saying, well, there's already been a lot of scrutiny and that wasn't true. You didn't know what you were talking about. And that really gets to the heart of the matter. There was no scrutiny. And then when they appointed the independent commission a year after the fact, what did they find all this? all these discrepancies. Then you Google it and you find an article and you say, oh, well, Karen Fan, Karen Fan disputed it. Oh, the county disputed it. Okay, the county is being investigated for the fraud. So, they, I mean, they can answer the independent audit however they want and say, oh, these discrepancies, well, um, people just can't read forms. Obviously, that's not good enough. And you could go and say, oh, well, there's no frame of reference. Here's a frame of reference. There was 10 times more discrepancies than there were votes between Trump and Biden. We don't need to pull the voter records of every election in American history to say that that is sufficient to say that the contest might not be valid. And that's all that you need. You don't need to say, here's a fraud that proves that Biden won. You need to show that there's sufficient doubt about the integrity of the election that you can't trust the results and that's been demonstrated 100 percent. you can say oh well the county disputed it the county was complicit in it that's why they had to bring in an independent commission obviously and the county is not the legislature you said oh well how can we trust a legislature but not the county the county and legislature are different things the legislature brought in an independent company you're saying oh well but you don't trust the county in disputing it yeah because the county election officials and the legislature are different, and you don't even know that. So okay, I mean, so let's, let's trying to come up with a whole interrupted another minute. No, 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 there's no way his minute was announced. Wait, 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 no wait, way wait, he wait, wasn't wait, 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 It doesn't work. This is actually going to be um, like our final thoughts on this. So I'm going to give him another minute, and then everybody's going to have two minutes to uh, end this topic, and we'll move on to the next. So go ahead, you got your okay. So first thing, uh, wait, wait, no, wait, 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 did Nick? Are you done? Yeah. Okay. All right. Go ahead, Rose. You have two minutes. First thing, uh, just I, I just want like a, a simple, a simple yes or no to this question because it's a very simple question. No, oh, no, no, no. We're, we're, closing, yeah, we're closing. Oh, it's we're a closing, closing statement. This. Okay. Yeah, so we're I done. I would like to add that number one, um, Nick Fuentes is saying that the, the county is disputing the findings of the report and the audit. Incorrect. There is not a single direct contradiction or conflict between the independent audit 
and what the county has said. Merely what the county is doing is the county is explaining. There has been no clash there. It's just that the, the the investigation, the independent audit said that, okay, well, actually, you know, we ran through it. And when we did our counting, it actually looked like it leaned even more to Biden than, assault, than you know, was initially believed. However, we have a bit of questions about these things here. The county explained that, bang, easy. There was no contradiction. There's no clash. It's not that the county is disputing the audit. It's that the county is explaining. Hold on. Why do you guys say this in my chat? Does Destiny also admit Hillary is wrong to dispute the outcome of 2016? Hillary didn't dispute the outcome of 2016. She conceded that night. We're, what reality are you guys living in, dude? The Trump shit has like ruined our fucking country. You guys are like, it's worse than any neocon Bush shit ever. Like at least under like the Bush shit, like you got the conspiracy theorists were the minority, but you guys are actually living in a different reality. Like, like show me the, like, it's, it's crazy because we live in a world where we have the videos, like we can watch what happened, you know? It's like, it's like when I talked to you guys about like Trump, Trump didn't believe the coronavirus was real. Like, yeah, he did, he took it serious from day one. Motherfucker, we have the videos. We can watch the videos on Twitter. He fucking didn't believe it. He said there was one case and there was six K. Like, are you actually fucking serious? Like, what, where are you? What reality are you in? Go just watch the video footage. Just watch it. Like, Jesus. It's over and over like, I like, from what it started to what we're talking about now is just insane. Like you literally came out, at, you know, talking about how I'm guilty. I went in the Capitol and Nick saying shit on a megaphone. And now we're talking about cyber ninjas. You know, we're talking about all these intricate details. And I can see you reading DMs and Googling shit the whole time. So you clearly don't know what you're talking about. Uh, but, you know, the facts are Trump won the election. We all know that January 6th was epic. It was a peaceful protest. We, you know, we don't uh, avow any sort of violence or anything like that. Obviously, it was a peaceful protest. And, um, you know, it's just hypocritical because everyone on your side, when they do a protest, you know, Roe v. Wade or whatever it is. Oh, my gosh, they're stunning and brave. They're heroes. You know, but we have one day. We have one fucking Patriots Day and you want to shame us for it. You want to make us into domestic terrorists. And you know what I say to that? I say, Fuck that shit. We are against the corporate overlords that you guys suck off each and every day. And you can play this little charade in front of the internet, but people are not buying it. People are not buying it. So no, that's my statement. There we go. All right, Destiny, two minutes. Uh, we're doing two. Um, <laughs> just <sighs> voter fraud and finding it anywhere. It would have been so much fun to have a real conversation about that. Like, uh, Giuliani had his cases, plenty of states tried to do their cases, plenty of independent people brought cases, like most of these were dismissed immediately just because they're, they're some because states had no standing, Texas trying to sue other states, like this is how you guys need to run your election, they have no standing to do that, and 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 mostly because of other people just trying to bring like bunk evidence in front of Rep uh, Republican conservative appointed judges, most of these guys are Trump appointed judges, right, um, Trump's own DOJ, Trump's own appointees across the FBI, like all these other people are saying um, like, hey, uh, there was no voter fraud. We can't find it. The machines seem fine. All of the audits seem to be turning in, in the same results. All of the states that are recounting all this stuff. Like a a every single time there is this claim of like, uh, like, well, you know, there was voter fraud. We need to check it out. It's like, okay, well, we need to look at this. Well, we need to match signatures. Well, we need to like check their dick sizes. Like we need to go into their homes and we need to see, we need a fucking time machine. Like it's always like moving the goalposts. The reality is, is that you are asserting a, what would be literally, and I'm not hyperbolic here, what you are asserting is the grandest election conspiracy in the history of planet Earth. It would be the, if this happened in one county, in one single county, it would be the biggest election fraud story in the history of the entire planet, in one county. But you're asserting that this didn't happen just in one county, but in dozens or hundreds or thousands across the entirety of the United States? And there wasn't a single leak. Nobody got caught. Nobody bluffed. Nobody opened their mouth. Nobody caught something on a cell phone. No evidence was found. No evidence was presented in front of any judge. No independent thing was able to find more than discrepancies. Nobody leaked it. Like, dog, if this if the election was stolen this well, fucking the Democrats deserved it because this would be the grandest heist of an election that has literally ever happened. We wouldn't have fucking losers like Dinesh scraping millions of different types of cell phone data to try to find out who walked near an election box to see if we were actually having fraud happening or not. And the idea that we're going to say that some independent firm that was hired in, in Arizona to, to, to do in, like election fraud investigation, that this firm that was paid millions of dollars by pro-Trump people, even they came out and said there was no fraud. They just couldn't read the fucking forms, which isn't surprising. There's a reason why, one, the firm is bankrupt and doesn't exist anymore. And two, the fact that they had no history doing any sort of election work whatsoever. Like, yeah, I'm not going to believe these guys over the actual counties that do the votes and the vote tallies that's it okay
All right. Um, I don't know if you guys want to take like a minute break to go to that. Well, what about my yeah, closing statement? Yeah, I thought you had to do it what first. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, wait, yeah, I didn't. Yeah. I thought I was just arguing. Was that my closing statement? I want one after Nick. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I yeah. got right, one ahead. after Nick. Go, go ahead, Nick. What? Wait, you no, get two no, closing Nick statements? Is, no, I don't know the closing statement. statement. This is Nick, you getting your second closing statement. This is outrageous. Statement. Brittany, right, stop ahead, the Nick. count. Stop the count. <laughs> Investigate this debate. Right, right, Investigate right. the times. All right, we're starting. Go ahead. You get. Okay. Yeah, we need um, to get this thing. I'm starting his timer over. I get another minute because Big Lab is interrupting me. So look, it's this simple. We had more mail-in ballots than ever before in history. Those ballots are the most susceptible to fraud. And we're not talking about hundreds of counties. We're talking about four or five. We're talking about five major cities, major counties run by Democrats. Biggest voter fraud in the history of the planet. Well, okay, how about Stalin? How about Saddam Hussein? The idea that elections are never rigged, the idea that elections and politics is never rigged, that it's never... It's just a level of naivete that, of course, you expect this from liberals. Whenever scrutiny is applied, where it hasn't been much, there have been lawsuits run by Republican grifters, I'll, I'll admit, like uh, Sidney Powell and Lynn Wood. But when you do a proper independent ballot audit, you find discrepancies. And you could take the government's word for it, because that's what it is. And the government can say, oh, well, the private firm that investigated us, they just couldn't read a form. And that you can hand wave away 100,000, 10 times more problems. That's the only time you had one. You'd ask the bigger question, why weren't there more independent ballot audits? If there was that much concern, 80% of Republicans thought the election was rigged. There should have been commensurate scrutiny. There wasn't. When there is, you find discrepancies. And we're supposed to believe the government that they can hand wave this away and say, oh the firm just didn't know what they were talking about it requires you don't need to believe in a conspiracy you need to have a profound trust in government to believe that any of this is true you uh, fundamentally that's the disagreement is a profound faith and confidence in the system which i just don't have which i never have had and i think that's the fundamental difference we could go to i'm right.com and say oh well the company was young or this and that but ultimately it's you know is the government going to cheat I think they're capable of it. And I think they're willing to do it. And they certainly had the motive and the opportunity to do it in 2020. And we never got an investigation. So there's your fraud. All right. 